So this is a sum to infinity uh, question. So we've got uh, squares which have a length of k, then k squared, then k cubed, and that uh, sequence continues indefinitely. Um, and the information you've got, further information, is the total sum of the areas of the squares is 9 over 16 and then you've got to find the length b which will be the uh, sum to infinity of the lengths however first of all we're looking at the areas so we're gonna look at the areas to find out what um k is so if we're looking at the areas then we're starting the first area this shape is k squared and the area of the next shape is k to the power of four and the next shape is uh, k squared. So this is the first sequence that we're looking at. Um, and to work out the comma ratio, what we multiply to get to the next term. So it's going to be every time we're timesing by uh, k squared to get to the next term. So we're going to use the, our sum of an infinite geometric sequence formula. And so I've just substituted into that. So I know that the first term was uh, k squared. And I know the common ratio was also k squared. So I've substituted both of those uh, terms in. Right, and now we just rearrange it. So I've multiplied by 1 minus k squared and by 16, both sides. I'm now going to expand the brackets. Now I'm going to make uh, k squared the subject. Added uh, 9k squared to both sides, so I can do that. I'm going to divide by uh, 25. That means k squared is 9 over 25. That means k is 3 over 5, uh, because it tells us here that k is positive. Finally, I'm going to work out the sum of the lengths here. So the lengths are, you're adding k uh, to k squared to k cubed and so on, and you're going to find the sum of uh, this sequence. And this time, the common, oh, sorry, the ratio is k. So you're timesing by k to get to each term. Again, it's going to be sum to infinity. So I've substituted into the same formula, where the first term is k and common ratio is also k, and we know k is 3 over 5. Substituted in uh, 3 over 5, and 3 over 5, uh, or sorry, 1 minus 3 over 5, is 2 over 5, and then you just got to divide 3 over 5 by 2 over 5, which is 3 over 2, which is your final answer. So that would be B, the sum, to infinite, sum uh, of all the lengths.